Recently, one of our audio technicians discovered a cache of audio recordings that have been sitting in a box someplace at the lab for decades. So the audio technician set out to uh, digitize them, and his result is um, some really fantastic old recordings that sound new. This is Robertson Stevens of the California Institute of Technology Jet Propulsion Laboratory. One was of President Eisenhower on an early recorded radio transmission between JPL and Bell Labs in the East Coast via what was called the Echo Balloon. It was a satellite balloon intended to be a communication satellite. This is President Eisenhower speaking. It is a great personal satisfaction to participate in this first experiment in communication involving the use of the satellite balloon known as ECHO. This is the satellite, a huge empty balloon, here shown while still in its hangar. The inflated balloon is 10 stories high, made of a strong new aluminized plastic. Strong, yet only half as thick as the cellophane around a package of cigarettes. One of the other tapes that our, our audio technician found is a conversation between Jack James who was the Mariner Interplanetary Program Manager at the time here at JPL, and astronaut John Glenn. Hello? Yes, can you read me better now, Colonel? Yes, hear you loud and clear now, in good shape. This was an active satellite called Project Relay, which retransmitted the conversation. Now, I understand we're on rather a long, long distance hookup. Yes, sir, I think so. This, this relay satellite is doing a very good job, is it not? Well, I was thinking the same thing here. Uh, this just sounds like normal telephone conversation. At the time we had our first satellites, I don't think any one of us, any of us ever thought that we'd be talking to each other via satellite just in this short time later, but there are tremendous... JPL takes the expertise it develops in communications generally and, and builds its own uh, interplanetary network, which we call the Deep Space Network, and carries it out into doing what it wanted to do and explore the planets. I love this kind of stuff because I'm a historian. It's critical for us to save our past because it can help inform our future. Let us all continue to work to see that these new means of communication replace suspicion with understanding, hostility and isolation with cooperation, and ignorance with free exchange of knowledge.